So the Kings lose 4 2 to the Vancouver Canucks, but the worst part is our playoff march is dead! And in the third period, Sadine scores to make it 3 2, and you guys couldn't even tie it up, and our playoff march is over! The Stanley Cup was supposed to be ours! <laughs> And welcome to Overtime, brought to you by Kingscast at www.kingscast.net. I'm Keith Kornelik. And I'm Chris Kalazus. And like Jenna Jameson, I am cleanly shaven. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All good things coming to an end. Uh, the King season, unfortunately, ended tonight at Staples Center Yeah. Uh, in Game 6, which we both called earlier in the uh, our playoff Canucks episode. and 6, yep. Canucks and 6. Uh, it was a valiant effort, definitely from the Kings tonight, but they just didn't have the energy the experience, and really when it comes down to it, the skill to get it done tonight. Yeah, or the elite talent. I mean, the Sedin line with Samuelson is lights out. I don't care what team you are in the playoffs, uh, you're really going to have to figure out a way to shut them down because they were nothing short of fantastic. Yeah, well that line, I guess, uh, had the game winner in each four win each of the four wins. So That is crazy. I mean, that, that's, what a, that's what a great team does. Though. They, they come back and, uh, you know, we talked about this earlier, this felt a lot like game four. Yes. Where we had a one goal lead at each uh, intermission, the first two, and then uh, midway through the third period, the Canucks stepped it up and won the game. Absolutely, and I, I think there are a number of factors, Chris. Uh, first of all, on the Kings' side, that being of goaltending from Jonathan Quick, uh, it was very soft. It has been for most of the season. Yeah. Um, and uh, to me, there's a real question now in net for the Los Angeles Kings. Um, I, you know, I think Bernier is going to start next season, um, but the heart that the Canucks showed. I mean, you know, to come from behind in periods twice is really, it, it's big. And it's something that I think the Kings as a young team will need to eventually learn yeah. to get to the next uh, next level. All right, guys, here we are, game six. Uh, Kings are down, of course, three to two. Uh, we all saw the unmitigated disaster the other night. Uh, will the Kings come back today? I, it's, I don't know, I'm not that hopeful, but I'm a Kings fan, so I'm gonna say it's gonna become a goaltending battle. One nothing Kings in overtime. Roberto Luongo, and all props to him, had an unbelievable series-winning save tonight. Oh my god. Ryan Smith had an open net, uh, and Luongo somehow, on his back, was able to get a glove on it. It was one of the most incredible saves I I've ever seen. I mean, uh, that saved the game for him, and uh, that proved to be... Uh the it factor. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, let's talk about some of the positives in the season, uh, in the uh, series. Uh, that of Brad Richardson, yep. who has been great, uh, showing a lot of heart out there. Um, you know, did contribute just a little bit on the score sheet. Michael Hansus has been awesome. Rob Scuderi, uh, fantastic. Uh, so the core really is there moving yeah. forward. And we're, we'll talk about next episode uh, where the Kings need to go uh, to reach that next level. All right, Kings fans, so the first period is over. Uh, and one nothing. I know it's only the first period, but I like the way the Kings are playing. They're getting shots on net. They're getting quality chances. Chances. A little iffy in the defensive zone, but Alexander Frolov, hey, you tried a hundred times, it finally worked. Go Kings! I thought some good uh, good showing by the Kings in the uh, playoff series. Clearly overmatched by the Vancouver Canucks, but, uh, you know, great job, Canucks, honestly. Yeah, we give you props. I mean, uh, really, there aren't a lot of Canucks to hate. Obviously, we do not like Shane O'Brien. Guy's a jerk. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, <laughs> whatever. He's uh, someone that we don't like. Obviously, Michael Samuelson. I don't like him because he was killing us out there. Yeah, uh, I respect him. I really respect don't like him. him. <laughs> uh, he had another uh, fantastic game tonight on the score sheet yet again. But, you know, we talked about goaltending and how that was definitely an issue. Quick seemed like he just didn't have it. He didn't have it. The, the pucks were bouncing off him really all series. Wasn't able to get a glove on it. Lots of juicy rebounds. I mean, it was just uh, he was ripe for giving up those goals. And tonight he had that goal where it bounced off his crest and rolled right in. I mean, that's, uh, that's not going to work in the playoffs if you want to move on to the next round. I don't know if it's mental toughness or the fact that he's so tired because he's got the new baby uh, or, or what it is, but that needs to get sorted out because at the beginning of the season, we did a show for the LA Kings on goaltending, <laughs> yeah. and you predicted quick for Vesna, and he has had a spectacular uh, season as far as wins go, but yeah. post-Olympic break, it's been really tough, and then in this playoffs, you know, uh, even the games that we did win, Chris, he still wasn't lights out. No, those games that we did win, we won despite him, I thought. It wasn't yes. like he stole the game uh, at any point in this series. All right, so it's 2-1, end of the first period, and uh, Kings are looking good. Randy Jones is really sloppy, but here's the thing. It feels like game four, like we got this, but we can easily let it go. So I'm still saying Kings win, tack up another goal, 3-1. So that's right, Kings fans. Obviously, it is all over. The season has ended for the Kings, but the season for Kings cast has not ended. 
Uh, we will be back in the next coming days. Not every, not the next two days. I think we need a little break here. Uh, it's been, a little uh, bit. Give the liver a rest, I think. But we will be back with our official Kings Cast season finale, where we break down the whole season, talk about the players, the ups and downs, and the journey that it took to get to the playoffs this year. So stay tuned for that one. And watch us at kingscast.net, youtube.com forward slash kingscast. Uh, we'll be covering the playoffs. We'll be back probably about once a week. We have some really exciting stuff coming up in the off season, which I know you're really going to enjoy. So. Uh, Keep pressing play, because uh, we're going to be here. For the Canucks fans, that we're at Staples Center uh, tonight. I know the Kings fans can be a little uh, abusive and rude. Uh, however, the Canucks fans have been showing up on the YouTube page and then on our site. Have been fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, we do respect the team. Yep. We'll definitely want to talk some trash sometime, but you guys did a great job. Uh, good luck. Yeah, great series. Made the road trip down here from Vancouver. Uh, hard fought series for sure. Uh, Kings put up a good fight, but uh, excited to move on to next round. Uh, go Canucks. Uh, which brings us to our question of the day. Uh, the Kings are out of the playoffs right now. Your question of the day is, who do you root for now? Leave your comments, as always, downstairs. So I'm Keith Cornelick. And I'm Chris Kalisiewski. And thank you for watching Overtime by Kingscast.